Across the country and the world, coasts like this are hiding something. Something millions of years in the making. I'm speaking, of course, about fossils. A fossil is any preserved remains or traces of a once living organism. Though a specimen usually has to be over 10,000 years old, otherwise it's considered a subfossil instead. They can be formed in a variety of ways depending on the tissue type and conditions. When it comes to bone, the process is called replacement, as the bone tissues themselves are slowly replaced with another mineral. Today we're in North Yorkshire, looking for the fossilized remains of animals and plants from the Jurassic period, a time when dinosaurs, their reptilian cousins, and the diversity of life itself was truly in its prime. Yorkshire is famous for its high density of animal remains, being one of the best places in Britain to come to find prehistoric reptiles. In fact, in 2015, the backbone of a large sauropod was discovered in the area. The specimen was named Alan, after the man who found it. Sometimes accessing these sites can be dangerous, at this one in Kettle Ness, one of the quickest ways down was to abseil down part of the cliff face. So, keep that in mind if you wish to take up such a hobby, because not all places have easy access. Today, unlike Alan, we had no luck in finding vertebrates, especially dinosaurs. However, we didn't come away empty-handed. We came across a plethora of bivalves and numerous ammonite impressions in the fragile shale, as well as the much tougher nodules and outcroppings. Freeing said specimens from the shale is easy enough. Here we use a simple wooden chisel and hammer. But for the tougher rocks, one would need to bring something much stronger, such as an archaeologist's pickaxe and a chisel, actually designed for stone. As me and my friend Claire are both novices, we were unprepared, so be sure to learn from our mistakes. Newspaper is often used to keep items secure after excavation. It's handy, cheap, and gets the job done, so be sure to take some with you. Here we can see an impressive number of ammonites, all likely buried together under the sediment long ago. This cluster of animals suggests that they all likely died at the same time. Though from what, no one can say for certain, though it is likely they were buried by a mudslide or similar event. Permission is vital in any excavation. Be sure to look up whether you're allowed to visit the site, and especially if taking fossils is permitted. Many places like these are sites of scientific interest, and it can be a serious crime to take what you find without approval. Regardless of permissions, any significant finds should be reported to the local experts. The best places to contact for these experts would be a local museum or university. Taking up this hobby can be daunting, but who knows? You could find an undiscovered species. After all, in a world this big, there's always something more to see. Thanks for watching.